What if you woke up one morning and found your city overwhelmed by a crisis? A crisis that is not just confined to your neighborhood or your city or even your country, but one that has gripped the entire world. That, my friends, is the scale of the migrant crisis we are grappling with today. The origins of this crisis can be traced back to the year 2023. Since then, over 400,000 migrant children have crossed the U.S. border without their parents. These brave souls, some as young as six or seven, embarked on this perilous journey to flee persecution, gang violence, organized crime, and dire economic circumstances in their home countries. This influx of unaccompanied minors has sparked controversy and prompted an emergency response from the Biden administration. As we moved into the year 2023, the city of El Paso, Texas experienced an unprecedented influx of migrants. Over 3,300 migrants were reported camped out near shelters, with the city's disaster declaration extended to assist in transporting and sheltering these asylum seekers. This surge was in anticipation of the expiration of Title 42, a Trump-era immigration policy that barred migrants from crossing U.S. borders due to COVID-19 concerns. In the same year, President Joe Biden visited the border for the first time. He witnessed a human rights crisis unfolding, with migrant families overwhelming the city's resources. Across the Rio Grande in Ciudad Juarez, migrant families faced freezing temperatures while waiting for an opportunity to cross into the U.S. Tens of thousands of people were turned back into Mexico without the chance to apply for asylum. Fast forward to December of the same year, and the crisis had escalated to an all-time high. Border authorities encountered more than 225,000 migrants along the U.S.-Mexico border, marking the highest monthly total recorded since 2000. Over the course of the month, authorities dealt with more than 10,000 migrants crossing daily. The ripple effects of this crisis have been felt far and wide. Even U.S. cities far from the Mexican border are reaching a breaking point trying to manage the influx of migrants. The shelter system for migrants in cities like Chicago has reached capacity. Denver is expected to spend about 10% of its entire city budget on migrant shelter and aid. New York City has received more than 161,000 migrants since 2022, and the influx will likely cost an estimated $12 billion over three years. As we stand on the precipice of a new year, the question remains, how do we navigate this crisis? The answer lies in our collective action. Encourage your lawmakers to address this issue, stay informed about the situation, educate others, because together we can turn the tide on this global crisis.